I actually had to put a sticky note on my monitor right there by my camera to remind me to move my microphone every time I record because I swear to God, ever since I moved to the new desk area, I can't keep my microphone where I like it. So I have it off to the side and I always forget to move it. And then the sound's all muffled. So I had to delete this episode and I'm having to re record it. But I've already played the matches. So we're going to go back and look at highlights and then we'll play a match today. Not the one I was planning on. My apologies. I don't know what else to tell you. But I have a sticky note now. Hopefully I don't forget anymore. Hey guys, RC here. This is episode 27 of our Journeyman Save. And yes, I screwed up. But Pascarello doesn't. He takes the set piece at the back post, puts it in for a 1-0 advantage. This is against Ingolets Petrov, and they were in second position in the table. Beautiful through ball from Jasufi to Romain. Made it 2-0 in the 31st minute. The keeper comes out for Ingolets, tries to clear it. Pascarello heads it down to Noel Mark, and he dinks the keeper to make it 3-0. Mark, by the way, scored and got his first international win for France during the international break. There's a nice through ball from Mensa to Graves, who came off the bench in today's match. And that made it 4-0, a dominant victory, 28 shots, 10 on target. Not a bad job. So Man City had their 31-match home unbeaten streak uh, snapped by Arsenal not that long ago. But they're away this time, but they got a lucky deflection there. So caught Solis going the wrong way, and it came back across him. We found ourselves in a 1-0 hole. In the 19th minute, they came back in. Solis flubs it. It goes right past him to Bian Cone, and it was Manchester City 2, Leicester 0. Fowler on the near post, he puts one in. That was a nice job to get one back. And then another one from Fowler made it 2-2. Two, two. Over the top, it's to Graves, and Graves gets it past the keeper in the 88th minute to give us the one goal advantage for the first time. And actually, Noel Mark got that header. I was wrong on that. I thought it was the uh, center back, but Mark undercut him, and that was a great result there, 3-2 over Man City. So let's catch you up a little bit on the scores because, again, I had come back. I had recorded... Uh, I had recorded up here, and the episode was just not salvageable. And uh, so I just scrapped it. We're picking up. So after the uh, after the Ajax match, we beat Burnley 3-2, uh, Baffer with a goal, Graves with a brace. Rotherham, uh, they are a Premier League side. We played a heavily rotated squad. It was in the Carabao third round. Uh, Eric Graves got the equalizer for us in the 74th minute. And then it was Romain, Pascarello, and Graves all missing penalty kicks. Uh, so three of our first four penalty takers missed their shots. It was ugly and we were eliminated in the Carabao Cup. We came back and destroyed Chelsea in what was called a major upset. Uh, Jasufi, Baffer, Mapasi, Mark, and Pascarello with the goals in that one. We lost 3-2 to Leeds away. Cesar came in in the number 10 spot and got a brace in his first start, I think, or he hasn't started much. And we slotted him in. He scored again against Everton. Noel Mark with a hat trick. Jasufi from the midfield and George Alexander off the bench in the number 10 as we destroyed Everton 6-2. And Ingoletz, we took out 4-0 in the last match of the first legs in group stage for the Euro Cup. Pascarello, Romain, Mark, and Graves, the goal scorers there. You just saw the win over Man City, so that was huge. Uh, so I'm going to come back uh, after Arsenal 
and we will show play the Ingolets second leg today because I want to do uh, the Euro Cup on camera. So we'll do that. And Arsenal, we may show highlights. I don't know. They're currently one point above us in the table. Both of us are doing very well. We have a three-point advantage over Man United and plus six goal differential on Man United as well. Uh, we're also five points clear of Ingolets in the Euro Cup uh, group stage. So things are looking well there as well. Talk about a happening. October Premier Young Player of the Month, a clean sweep for us. Noel Mark gets the first position with four goals in three appearances. Cesar, three goals and no assist, finishes second. And Carlos Vitor, two assists, finishes third. What an outstanding accomplishment for the young players from our side. Gotta be happy with that, right? We're not going to loan out El Batabi because he's our he's our he's our deputy. He's our reserve, uh, our backup keeper. We kind of need him. So I've made the decision to come back for the Arsenal match because they are top of the table in the Premier League, and a win here could get us back into first position. So made that decision. We're going to go with Solis in goal, a back three of Hildon, Licka, and Fowler. Balf, Baffer, Mapasi, Jasufi, and Romain in the mid. Cesar at the number 10. Graves and Mark will be up top. Yeah, when I, you know, we'd already beaten Ingolets and we've got a nine, what, a five point advantage or something, nine to five. So I think we're okay to come back a little bit later in the group stage to see some more U Europe action. All right, let's give them some early encouragement. We are in the blue. If we see a highlight, three shots, none on target after 15 minutes. That's interesting. And the first highlight goes to the Gunners. It is headed away. Mark comes back to control it. Oh, look at the move past Andre. And he loses it a little too heavy on the touch as he went into the box area. All right, now we're moving it back in. There's Graves. It's through to Mark. He takes a touch, and there's a big save by Grayson setting up a corner from us. So we've had a highlight now. Near post, it's headed away. Graves can't get to it. They had a counter opportunity. All right, let's encourage him again. And as soon as we encourage, it goes right to an Arsenal highlight. And that one's headed right back. And what a save by Solis. That was peppered right from the edge of the box. Setting up another corner for the Gunners. Oh, there's a couple of great deflections by the back line. Huge, huge effort. Cleared out. And then we get a corner, and that one gets cleared out as well. Over the top. Oh, wrong direction. Just Sufi trying to build it back in again. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what he was looking at, but he thought he saw something up there. All right. Licka missed the header, and they are on the break, and it's slotted away by Magoma, his ninth goal of the season. I think it was Fowler that got beaten there. So Lise, can't really blame him. I mean, that's a, that's a top quality finish in the box. We missed a header defensively, misplayed the ball. All right, we'll go ahead and work the ball into the box here a little bit. All right, there's a header down. Mapasi, through ball, it's Baffer. He lays it off. There's the shot, and oh, I don't know what happened. Mark looks like he got underneath it and sent it over the goal, and that was right from the edge of the six. That's hard to do. Uh, I'm going to point the finger, and wasn't good enough. That motivates him a little bit. Let's encourage him again. In a 1-0 hole, Baffer looks like he's going to go long throw. 
Eh, not really. Oh, that's laid off, and it's a beautiful shot by Maposi. Baffer with a nice layoff. Maposi equalizes in the 50th minute. And we have got to be happy with that. Not a whole lot going on. Let's, uh, well, hold on. Let's back out of that. Ooh, they sent it wide. Okay, let's see. Do I want to make a sub here? I'm more looking at average ratings here. You know what? Lick is on a yellow. Let's bring on Gerber and then move him. I believe he's left-footed. So, yeah, let's move him to the left side. That'll move Hildon into the middle. He's six foot four. I like that. And let's go ahead and move Baffer as well. I don't really have anybody that can play on the left side. I do have Pascarello. He's right footed. So, if we're going to do that, then I'm going to make him an inverted winger. We'll keep him on attack. That way, he's cutting inside. All right, we broke their press pretty easily there. A uh, good move by Pascarello to cut inside. Graves into the edge of the box. There's Maposi. Over to Jasufi. Oh, what a through ball, and it's Jamie Romain. I think they're coming over looking at a possible offsides. Was he offsides? VAR is going to check it. And it's disallowed. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Look how far back he is. But yeah, he took a step just as Grimm moved up. Unlucky. All right, let's demand more. Set piece comes in. Solis makes the nice grab. And he gets it out quickly. A flick on header, but nobody's up there for Mark to move it on to. All right, Jasufi lays down and pokes it. Decent defensive move. Pascarello tried to pick a pass. Nothing really there for him. There's a good outlet ball. Romaine. There it is. Oh, my God, and it bounces off the woodwork. Graves should have buried that one. All right, let's... Uh, Jasufi, huh? Let's bring in, yeah, let's bring in Felipe for him. And now Romaine's tired, but he's going to have to suck it up. All right, let's, uh, let's demand more again. We go to an Arsenal highlight. Okay, there's a good header down. Oh, intercepting the outlet pass. Oh, there's a nice ball. And he, wide open. Solis just doesn't look like he can grab anything unless he's got a lot of help. I am, I am questioning him. And he seems to play pretty well, but just every time we see anything, he's, he's a step out of position. You know, he needs a, a defender to make a play. It's always something with him. Felipe, can he do anything? There's a nice through ball. <coughs> Excuse me, and Pascarello slots it home. Felipe, what an assist. He just picked that out of nowhere. He picked it up at midfield. Just casually brought it up and just picked out that ball through a hole. Pascarello gets beyond a diving Grayson. Pretty tough angle. Mark was off sides, but Pascarello was definitely on. Mark nowhere near the play. That's a huge equalizer. Six minutes of stoppage time. Can we steal it? Can we steal it? It's Gerver. Plays it back. There's Graves into Felipe. 
Felipe looking for another pass. Can he do something? He crosses it. Not the best job. Not after what we saw him do just a minute ago. Oh, it's a flick on header. Fowler is outplayed again. He takes a touch and Magoma is unmarked. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding. Fowler's missed header. Oh, that is just brutal. And then Fowler had his back and he was double marking Hilden's man. Oh, are they just going to salt it away here? Romaine, oh, I thought Romaine might get on it for a counter opportunity there. Pascarello pounces on that error, and then Graves gives it away. Oh, that's horrible. Big save by Solis. Gerber's on it, and I don't think we're going to get another play there. Oh, Arsenal 3, Leicester 2. Very tight game. Oh, that's a hell of a way to give one away. They score in the 87th, we get one in the 88th, and they get one in the 93rd. I'm going to point the finger and tell them I'm not happy. And that lets Arsenal extend their lead in the league to four points. And we are now in a group with United, Newcastle, and Leeds with Burnley right on our tails. Oh my gosh. Our strikers couldn't finish a dinner. That's about right. That is an accurate statement. You know, Fowler, it says, is our best center back. And he's not bad. He's got really good jumping reach. He's 6'3". There's just no reason. Gee whiz. No reason. The only thing I might do, you know, Gerber's a better passer of the ball, as is McNeil. But he's not as good at marking. I think I'm going to end up benching one of these guys. Licka is the better passer. He's five-star potential. He's five-star. It might be Fowler. I hate to bench him because he's English, but I may, I may move, hit, move him off and bring Gerber in because I think Gerber has better potential long-term, and he's a better ball-playing defender, which is what I'm set up for. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, next episode, we're going to get a run of games. We'll come back for, uh, for Mets. Uh, I will probably chunk in Ingolets and Ajax highlights to that episode, play the uh, league matches off camera. So we'll look for that. Guys, hit that like button to support the channel. That's uh, getting more eyes on the videos and dealing with the algorithms for YouTube all that other stuff. Subscribe. That keeps you up to date for daily football manager content. And don't forget, we are going to be ending the single team climbing the ladder save with the Graf Shop soon. Uh, so if you are interested in that save, make sure you tune in because there's a lot of things happening in the final season. So check that out. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you. Bye.